At the core of the GERS 150's effectiveness is its integration of multiple weapon systems and sensors into a single, highly mobile platform. Armed with a 35mm automatic cannon capable of firing air-bursting munitions, as well as land-based variants of the Gokdoan and Balsdoan air-to-air missiles, the system is designed to provide layered defense. It features an advanced sensor suite, including an ASA radar, IFF capabilities, an electro-optical targeting system, and an integrated tracking platform. Furthermore, its electronic warfare suite, including the Kangol Jammer and the Guckberg laser weapon, enhances its defensive capabilities against modern threats such as drone swarms and precision-guided munitions. One of the GERS 150's major advantages is its ability to operate autonomously, utilizing fire control algorithms for threat evaluation and weapon assignment. Its modularity ensures adaptability for future upgrades, allowing for continuous enhancements in response to emerging threats. The system supports squadron-based operations, where one GERS 150 unit can act as a command node for coordinated engagements a feature that enhances its effectiveness in networked warfare scenarios. In terms of mobility and rapid deployment, the GERS 150 benefits from its 8x8-wheeled chassis, allowing for swift repositioning on the battlefield. It is capable of fire-on-the-move functionality, enabling it to respond dynamically to evolving threats. This makes it particularly suitable for protecting mobile and critical infrastructure such as forward operating bases, airfields, and high-value assets. Comparing the GERS-150 to the Russian Pantsir S-1 highlights several technological and operational distinctions. While both systems serve as short to medium-range air defense solutions, the GERS-150 surpasses the Pantsir S-1 in several key areas. The Russian system which consists of 1257E6 surface-to-air missiles and twin-barrel 30mm cannons, has been widely deployed but has faced operational limitations, particularly encountering small, low-speed UAV threats. The GERS 150, with its combination of ESA radar, laser weaponry, RF jamming, and superior missile options, presents a more versatile and future-proofed approach to air defense. Furthermore, Unlike the Pantsir S-1, which has required periodic refinements to address vulnerabilities, the GERS 150 was designed from the outset with modern combat challenges in mind. Its ability to engage multiple threats simultaneously, coordinate with other units, and integrate electronic warfare measures gives it an edge in contemporary warfare. Additionally, its modularity allows for easy adaptation, making it more resilient to evolving aerial threats. Beyond Russia's Pantsir S-1, the GERS 150 faces competition from other modern air defense systems, such as Germany's Sky Ranger 30 and China's S-2 and Type 625E. The Sky Ranger 30, developed by Rheinmetall, features a 30mm cannon, advanced sensors, and modular integration options, offering a capable but less heavily armed alternative. Meanwhile, China's SWS-2 and Type 625E offer similar hybrid gun missile approaches, but lack the advanced electronic warfare capabilities integrated into the GERS-150. Turkey's development of the GERS-150 reflects its broader strategy of enhancing its indigenous defense capabilities and reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. The GERS-150 is part of a larger effort to create a self-sufficient defense industry, a priority that has gained significant momentum over the past decade. By investing in domestic research and development, Turkey has positioned itself as a rising power in the defense sector, capable of producing sophisticated weapon systems that compete with those of established defense giants. Operational history and deployment strategies will play a crucial role in assessing the real-world effectiveness of the GURS 150. Turkey is likely to deploy the system to safeguard strategic locations such as military bases, government institutions, and energy infrastructure. Additionally, the GERS 150 is expected to be integrated into Turkey's layered air defense strategy, complementing other air defense assets such as the Hisar and Seeper systems. The GERS 150's adaptability 
also suggests its potential for export, with interest likely from nations seeking an advanced yet cost-effective alternative to Western and Russian air defense solutions. The GERS 150's capability to counter UAVs and drone swarms is particularly significant in today's warfare landscape. Recent conflicts have demonstrated the growing role of UAVs in both offensive and reconnaissance operations, with adversaries increasingly relying on low-cost, high-impact drone tactics. Traditional air defense systems, including the Pantsir S-1, have struggled against these asymmetric threats, often requiring additional modifications to improve their response capabilities. By contrast, the GERS 150 integrates multiple layers of protection, including kinetic, electronic, and directed energy weapons, making it well-suited for modern battlefield requirements. Another factor that sets the GERS 150 apart is its ability to seamlessly integrate into Turkey's existing command and control networks. The system's advanced digital architecture allows for real-time data sharing and coordinated engagements with other air defense units. This interoperability enhances situational awareness and improves the overall efficiency of Turkey's air defense grid. The GERS 150's autonomous engagement capabilities further reduce operator workload, enabling faster reaction times in high-intensity combat scenarios. As Turkey continues to expand its indigenous defense industry, the GERS 150 is poised to become a critical asset for both domestic and international defense markets. Its balance of firepower, mobility, autonomous operation, and electronic warfare capabilities positions it as one of the most advanced short-range air defense systems available today. If successfully deployed and proven in real-world engagements, the GERS 150 could very well surpass the Pantsir S-1 and become a benchmark in modern air defense doctrine. The combination of technological innovation, operational flexibility, and a forward-looking design makes the GERS 150 a crucial component in Turkey's quest to establish itself as a leading player in the global defense industry. Ultimately, the GERS 150 represents not only a significant leap forward for Turkish defense technology, but also a strategic shift in how modern air defense systems are designed and deployed. Its comprehensive approach to layered defense, incorporating both kinetic and non-kinetic effectors, ensures that it remains a potent force against current and future threats. Whether or not it ultimately surpasses the Pantsir S-1 will depend on its battlefield performance and adoption by international operators, but early indications suggest that it has the potential to redefine the landscape of short-range air defense solutions.